we are joined from Pat Bedu. Pat Bedu is a Grenadian DJ and producer representing MK tonight. How are you, sir? Welcome to the show. Oh, I'm very well, thanks. Thank you very much for having me on. Not at all. Music. I mean, I've done my research. You're into soul jazz, hip hop, funk, reggae, rare grooves. How did it all start for you? Oh wow, that, that's a I mean, music's always always been in the family from Grenada. Growing up with soca, carnivals, reggae. You know, if you go, if you go back to Grenada, except where I'm from in Karakou, you get on the bus and the buses are like a party. Yeah, they've just got the heavy <laughs> systems you can think of. So it, it stems well back from there, and then. Um, I suppose when I really got serious was back in, like, when we was at school, we had the electro, when that sort of, like, started coming through. Even before that, maybe, the new and relatives, and as soon as the electronic music started coming through, just into it, you used to go out partying seven days a week, clubbing. Seven days a week? Listen, what, 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 what were you, what were you drinking? Like were, you, were you on glucose or something, mate? <laughs> we, we just loved the music. And we was like, you know, like jazz dancers back in the day. So we just go to a different club because they had certain DJs playing jazz one night, reggae, groove, hip-hop, funk, soul, everything. All over the country, seriously, from like 14, 15, started going blues parties. And then that escalated to the M25 rave party. Been doing that for a long time, um, and then all, every single person I knew, all my friends were DJs and producers. So I had to be a DJ in the end. My brother's been DJing for ten years. I used to go out with him every single time we played the set. So I was like, I can't just be here doing nothing. So I started DJing. And that's like twenty-two years ago now. Wow. Uh, and then and then started production was always going to happen as well. Just I was always in the studio. So happy being in there, so comfortable, and just wanting to be involved in everything. And then, and then producing. Um, we're going to play your tune in a minute, and then we're going to play a game. But in a minute, I'm going to introduce you, get get you to introduce the track. Briefly tell us how, how did you get into production? Production, as, as I said, just just always all my friends. Well, one of my one of my really good friends is Steve Gurley. Um, I don't know if you know him, but back in the day, he was one of the original pioneers. Of, of house and garage, um, and he's the one I did my first track with. Um, also, Al Brown as well was one of the other guys. So there was a lot. 